Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up your very own Forge server using Google Cloud Platform, as well as any other um, cloud providers. I think it actually has the same step as you think. So before I show you the tutorial on how to set it up, I highly suggest you watch that other, my other tutorials like the basic on how to set up a virtual machine as well as how to set up a Azure account as well like stuff like that. I highly suggest you watch that as I will not be showing that process in this tutorial. And I expect that you have already have it set up. Which I'll show you the cr crash course of this right now. So once you have your server set up in Google Cloud or Azure or any cloud providers, as well as like the metadata and the firewall all set up, then you can proceed with this tutorial. So this tutorial, I'll show you how to set it up. So, so once you have your um, cloud server, which, which is my port server set up, then you can um, um, connect to it using Bitvice, which is my what, go, um, go to program, which includes the SSD, which is for power transferring. As well as Terminal Console, which is the SSH client, I highly suggest you use this program. It's so good, way better than having separate between Putty and Fazio as a separate program. This thing has good things. But you still need Putty as a um, way to get the public key as well. So let's get started. So first of all, you're going to go to Terminal Console. And you're going to do a sudo. sudo s. And we're going to do apt update double and apt upgrade this will both upgrade and update the program um the server as well so at least you should do this first when you create um, create your server press installation as well so once that's installed you're going to do apt search open jdk this will search all the jdk so in the screen i'll be showing you which will be the Recommendation of the JDK, which which um which specific specific virtual Minecraft you're gonna be installing. So those are the um versions. So it will be eight, sixteen, thirteen, eleven, and seventeen. So those the version that you that will be um included in the pack. So I highly suggest to do that. So for my um version uh, mod pack, I'll be going to install a better Minecraft Forge, which is a 1.90.2 version. So my my OpenJDK will be um, 17 because that's the recommendation for that version of Minecraft 1.19.2. So I'll be installing that. So to install it, all you have to do is just find whatever um, version you want. You can just highlight it to install it, copy it. You can just highlight it to copy it. And all you have to do is just type apt install and then right click and that will copy paste it. Get the headless one so you don't take up as much space as you, can, you think. So just press enter, press Y, and I will install it. So while that's installing, you can um, make sure you have your mod pack installed. If you have specific mod packs, if you have that installed. And all you have to do is just click download server pack if it has been included. So just download that. And now on the browser, you should have the mod pack installing right now. So once you have your download files installed like this, has better MC server pack forge. Um, make sure you have that um, already set up, so we don't need that at the moment. So next, we're gonna go to 
uh, SFTP and we will have you this um, open. So next you're going to do right click and then do create folder and call this um, better NC or any file that you're going to store your server at. So once you're on the remote files, go to your download folder. And once you have your download folder right there, you just drag and drop to it. And you just wait for um wait for it to finish it um transferring the files from the thing. Once you um successfully installed your files um files in your remote files, all you have to go is go back to the SSH and install this following. So apt install screen and unzip. So install that, click yes, click Y, I'll install it. So there you go. So next you're gonna type ls to see your folders and better empty. You go to better mc and press tab to autofill it. Press ls and you see say better mc server pack. You do unzip and then highlight this to copy it and then right click and press enter. That will unzip everything from the mod pack and press ls. And you see there's a mod, uh, mod pack there. So just do mv, right click and then just do better mc server and there you go so it depends what mod pack it is some some mod pack will um, fill, um, put the mods in, in the files inside the folder you set up or just create a separate folder it depends what mod pack so just be aware of that so if if mine just creates a new folder for the server so just go cd but mc server as ls and you see all these um, files and stuff like that if your mod pack has like a setup like as um sort of like that set up that sh i highly suggest you use that part to um when you're setting up a server so i'll show you that otherwise you have to do the manual way which i'll um which i'll cover in the next video but for now just the uh, mod pack itself so if you, if your mod pack has a um a readme text just do nano right click readme i'll show you how the instruction how to do it or you can just do it in the um on the remote file and just go here right click and just click um open and I'll open a notepad to show you how to set up like this. So once you have, um, so once you read it and understand it, all you have to do is just um, do um, chmod um, x plus and then do a star. Wrong way. It should be plus x and then star, and that will set it up. So now once you've done that, just do dot dash start the sh. And I will install the um, requirements for the server, which is, is automatic if they have it included. Otherwise, you have to set it up using the um, the manual way, like using the XMX thing and stuff like that, which I covered in my previous tutorials. So you just wait for it once it's installing. So once your service says done on the, with the timestamp, you can go to the you can now start your your mod pack and just start the game. Once your Better Minecraft or any mod pack is all set up. All you have to do is just click um, player add server. So just copy the external IP, put in the server IP, and click that. It should be and it should be all started right now. So click connect and let's see if it works. If it works, then you should be joining into the server. So we'll see. And there you go. You're officially in the micro server that you're hosting. So you can do that. You can also go to the console. And do like you can see if you're on the server right there. If you give yourself op, there you go, there you go. You have op now. And you can fly and stuff like that, and there you go. And that's how you set up the micro server. So as usual, to host your server 24/7, first you need to stop the server, and there you go. That will save the world. Just wait for it to stop and then press any key to continue if you are about to do that. LS to screen, that's S which is to create a new screen, do MCS, micro server, anything really, and do type, type the same command again, SH. And there you go, that will set up a new screen into insert set the server. So to exit out the screen, just do control A and then release it and then B and that's how you exit it. And there you go. And to see um, what your screen is list, you do screen dash list, and you see says 406.mc mcs. To pop it up again, just do screen dash r or screen dash r dash mcs, and there you go. And that's how you host your server 24 seven. In in this, in how to set up your port server in Google Cloud Platform. So yeah, 
in the next video I'll be doing another um, tutorial on course um, forge on how to set up your own mods using um, Google Cloud Platform so it's basically the same set but using your own mods so I'll teach you guys how to do that so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye